Welcome to the Empire of Zrampan, and welcome back to my Wessex campaign using the Shield Wall Overhaul mod for Thrones of Britannia, where we're going to continue left off from last time. We're now, after basically completing the, uh, what was it, the long victory conditions for long conquest, uh, we are now going to continue trying to get this ultimate victory. Because um, I know I've been trying to figure out like what we're going to be doing next for the next campaign. Uh, current poll, it's between doing another one in this or doing something in Steven Steel. If Steven Steel keeps winning... Basically, by the time I release this tomorrow, I'll probably be going with Steam and Steel. We'll have to kind of see about that, but for right now, at least, this campaign I still think is going to have quite a bit for it still. Because I'm probably going to have it, so again, we're going to most likely try and have it so we can conquer just all of the rest of um, Scotland. And I know right now, we're still kind of pushing up here into the north. I kind of want to have it so... I still do want to clean up more of this uh, border gore at some point. Because I know right now... You guys... Oh, you're starting to like me a little bit more. I know at least these guys I'm going to be leaving alone. It also depends on like what happens when the uh, Viking invasion comes. The ma the big one. If uh, my allies all die, <laughs> I can conquer their stuff later. So we can try, probably try and do that. But for right now... um, did I, I had this battle ready for right now, I believe. Didn't I? No. Not until next turn. So, next turn, we will try and assault that city. Um, I know I'll be able to start sieging you guys next turn, and then you're recovering uh, quite a bit. Where's my other army? Here he is. So you... Uh, do we have any more... No, we have no more guys here just yet. But you should be able to keep moving, I would say, so I can try and have you start trying to make your way up to this territory. So you'll try and make your way there since you're not worrying too much. There is some attrition right now on you guys, but you should be fine. For the most part, I don't think I have to worry too much about that. Uh, but otherwise, I don't think I have anything to build right now. Basically, we're just waiting in those sieges. And also, a lot of my research right now. Also, pretty sure more than likely, yeah, as, as I was expecting, these buildings probably don't do faction-wide bonus XP for units. But, eh, it's boss because I'm assuming it's just in the main area. But I have no way to confirm that. But I don't think I have anything else to build right now. Yeah, not at the moment right now. I know, like, these areas, the research I'm doing right now, because yeah, we're trying to do more of our civic stuff, because we're trying to get this, and then this. Where's the... Yeah, we want to get this stuff next, because I want to start being able to upgrade these market buildings, because that will get me... Yeah, I probably want to get up to at least here, once we get to this spot, because I don't need... Yeah, I don't necessarily need those just yet. But I did want to get more of our civic research. And it looks like almost every single te uh, technology right now takes about two turns. So honestly, it'll probably not take me that much longer to finish up all my research. Let's see. Possible marriage here. Um, Jesus, if I have children, zeal. Oh, that's not a bad one. I'll give I'll give my blessing for that. Uh, Moot Hall has been upgraded over here. And it'll be next turn... Yeah, three turns until... Yeah, next turn I can finish this up, so then I'll be able to actually upgrade that after that. Let's see. Something besieged. Yeah, so now we can actually assault this area. So we can assault that. You guys... Are you still taking attrition if I'm sieging? Let's see. No, you're not. Okay, so you're not taking any more attrition. So I'll have you, yeah, build up some more siege equipment here. Continue that siege. You need to keep making your way up around here. I'll try and go there. Got a skill available. This is for one of my governors. I'll have you... Great books, tapestries, and items for other characters. Yeah, let's get you the scribe. Get you that, because especially as a governor, you probably want to have more of those. Food-wise, we are kind of struggling a little bit for food, so we are going to have to be careful with that. That I'm going to have to make sure that, if anything, we stop getting things that take more food. Yeah, because we're going to want to make sure we don't get too much. Yeah, because we don't really have anything else to build there that'll help us get more food right now. Okay, because if we go up here... At least me taking this territory... Eh, it's not going to give me more food. Honestly. Let's see. Yeah, I want those areas. Those give me some good food. Who, are you at war with any... Are you allied with anybody? Let's see. No, you have no allies. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep conquering up here. I like honestly, there's no reason to stop. I know at least you just need to 
I just honestly, like, I could just start that war now. Oh, well, no, they do have an army over here. They have an army over there, so we want to hold off. But let's go over here. Let's try and have it so we can push on in here. I'm just going to do this to minimize my casualties so we don't have to wait around as much to recover. Plus, I always want to showcase my more elite army. Because this one is a, this one's pretty fun with how strong some of my units are now at this point in time. So we'll fight this ourselves, keep pushing on in. And for right now, at least, because I, I know for this campaign, I'm probably, just, even after we just defeat the Viking invasion, I'm definitely going to just have it so we conquer all of, like, basically everything but Ireland, basically, for this campaign. Like, I'll have you that as our proper victory conditions. Because right now, at least, it, it, some people are just enjoying the fact that we're just dominating. And I love it, too. So we'll keep trying to do that. And eventually, it will allow us to actually fix our border gore. Because that's, like, one thing... Like, I, I personally, honestly, do kind of like this, like, smaller minor settlement setup. Uh, it's actually something that I've talked about, well, wanting to utilize a similar feature, slightly different, um, in my own game that we're trying to help, to, uh, that we're trying to develop with the Project Renaissance. But, like, I, I like this, but it's so bad for Border Court. Because <laughs> it's so easy to just, like, oh, lose a bunch of territory, and then it's just like, well, this is a weird-ass amalgamation of a, a country border. Which is never fun. It's nice to have nice, clean borders. It just looks so much more better. So much better. Okay, let's see. So, uh, weather's fine. Start to plummet. Let's get you guys. It'll be fine. Yeah, just start to plummet. Get you guys to start making your way forward. So, there, there, there. Archers. Let's get you to about here. And try and have it so that you guys can start trying to unload on them. Infantry, get a little closer right there, and I'll actually adjust my archers more so here. Because I don't see any archers on the side, so let's kind of adjust for a second. I try and want to get my infantry into melee with you guys if possible. Okay, so you guys, watch forward. Some of you are being shot at. We are being shot at by this guy. So unload into him with my guys. Yeah, so he's taking some good damage there. Let's see. There you go. Yeah, try and whittle them down before they can do too much damage. Siege towers, keep making your way forward. They only had the two archers, so after these two are dead, for the most part, they have nothing to really try and shoot my guys. Let's just try and get my cross, but my archers a little bit closer. Because that unit is dead. Let's now try and see if we can get in range of the other one. Oh, the other one's making their way forward for some reason. Why? What? 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 You, what? What's the strategic advantage of opening the gates like this and trying to shoot through them, guys? Like straight up. What the hell? Okay, it's fine. Just, just keep shooting that guy. Keep shooting that poor bastard. And then I'll have it so yeah, my my towers are almost to the walls. That guy's almost dead. He's now pretty much dead. Okay, let's move up a little bit closer. Now you guys can just start picking your own targets. Because they still have their skirmishers and everybody there. Let's see. Infantry. Go here. Here. And all of you guys kind of go through the gate, essentially. Uh, archers. You guys, please open fire into the general's bodyguard. Specifically target him. Yeah, you guys. Oh, where'd you go? Where the fuck does unit go? Oh, that's the other one. Yeah, you guys fight over here. Where's the one that was on this unit? Oh, there they are. Yeah. You guys, get on in here. Keep fighting. Archers are doing their thing. I'll get you guys to try and help out up here as well. Let's see. Doing some good damage to this general's bodyguard. Or this captain, I mean. Because number-wise, let's see. So they've already lost 400 guys. God, the casualties are going up high. Oh, so quickly. But, you know, you guys get on in here. Try and help out against these axemen. Try and do that. Yeah, you guys are kind of going through the gates a little bit. That's okay. Going through the gates is fine, especially with how much fire support we have here. Because, like, they have lost half of their army now at this point. The captain is almost dead. He's down to just about ten guys now at this point in time. Oh, yeah, there you go. They're practically shattered over here. Let's see what's that unit. That is another swordsman. I'll try and go over here first. Because, like, right now, yeah, you guys are trying to finish off. Yeah, we've almost got the gates open under our control. Uh, Cav, I think I might have you guys... Given where they're positioned. I'm going to have my Cav running in here. 
any of you guys maybe try and run around, get to, uh, just be able to try and flank them. Let's see, that's, that unit's almost dead there. Okay, he's fully given up. Now, essentially, it's just these noble swordsmen. Yeah, the noble noble infantry is all that's really left around this area. And he's the only unit left, too. Yeah, he's the only one still fighting. So everybody focus on him. Once this guy's out of the way, I see you guys can try and focus on him. Once he's dead, they'll give up. We'll have the city. And then, for the most part, they don't have much left. The other city I'm sieging right now will probably be able to just auto-resolve through. I, I am probably going to start another war. Debating if I want to wait a little bit or not. Because I don't know when the Viking invasion is supposed to kick off after we completed one of the long victory conditions. Because it said it was supposed to be like, oh, the next turn something will develop from this. And I'm like, okay. Like, are you guys going to invade? Like, almost immediately? Like, what's going on? Uh, technically, the main reason why I want to start another war is I need more food. And so, I wonder technically if I could... Let's see, so occupy this region. Yeah, because we're going to lose more food from controlling this area technically. This is an okay building to keep. Um... Let me get rid of these. Let me get rid of those. And I'm going to be taking this next turn. I want to take these territories. I desperately do want those. I just don't know if I want to pick a fight with you guys just yet. Yeah, because you got this all the random territory up here. See, like, I hate this border gore. Yeah, because honestly, I might just start a fight with you guys. I, I want to start a fight with both of you at the same time, so I can just take all of that territory and have a nice border. If anything, maybe what I could try and do almost in some regard is I could try and uh, take those territory, or take these two territories, maybe take this a little bit, and then essentially I try and offer them a piece, because I have a shit ton of excess money right now. So we could try and offer them that, and then maybe the, the, the piece will last for a little bit. I can focus on the other one. But I just do, do know that, like, if an invasion happens and it comes down to the south, uh, that's a problem. And uh, I may want to not be so aggressive and keep expanding up here if their invasion is going to be focused down south. Okay, here they are. So, these guys, looks like we, they were mainly... Yeah, they're mainly dropping off around over here. Shit, yeah, because they already took a territory from us. Okay, so they've got, oh my god, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At least eight armies that I can see. Damn, okay, so. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to really stop those guys. Okay, so we need to, well, okay, so. Let's do this. So I'm gonna have you take this. So you should be fine with an auto-resolve. Okay, not that bad. We're in winter right now. Let's now try and see... What's this area even got in it? So... Eh, it's okay. I'd like more food. Um... What are we gonna get for that? You, I think, is good. This one, uh, demolish. This repair. Get this, because... You, you, oh, no, this for more food. Um... So what we're gonna do is... I need to make my way over to the east. This area here... Swamp is actually kind of in our favor. Depends on where these guys are going to go. But I think essentially I'll try and have my king. And... Let's bring you. Yeah, let's bring these two armies down this way. Um, as soon as... Let's see. I'm going to do that for 12 turns. Okay. He's going to start having to, like, splinter these guys off and start trying to destroy them. So, damage buildings. Yep, yep, I already know about that. Attrition because of the stuff around there. Um, food shortage. That's because we're in the winter right now. And then governance available. So, I actually have now another slot. Um, let's do... Oh my god, let's see. These are all okay. Let's 
go with you. Let's go with you. And I'm going to put you over... Let's put you here. So I'll put you there. Kind of help out a little bit more. The public order over here. Yeah, because of those invasions, taxation buildings, allegiance. Okay. So they've got like three main areas. It just depends like what I'm curious what's gonna happen with you guys. I know for right now, especially as soon as I can get like you guys go sit here for a second. As soon as I can get more men here. Oh, I can get some more now. Keep grabbing those. Get three more units and this is then a full stack army. Still trying to use up more of my guys if possible. Um, okay. Because essentially I'm going to try and have it so that these two armies up here will be one group. I'm going to try and honestly actually offer this guy a piece, possibly. Just because I just don't want to care about him. Let's, let's see. Yo. You want a piece? Insulting. <laughs> okay. Uh... How have you become my vassal? <laughs> it's insulting either way. It's interesting that you guys just don't even want to accept that. Okay. I, I thought you guys would possibly actually accept that, but no. Okay. Yeah, because now at this point in time, we need to try and see... They're going to do a lot of damage over here. Ideally, this would be the first area I'd like to try and focus my attention around and try and focus on. And I'm hoping that like we're going to try and have some actually good defenses to try and defend these cities here because like yeah the minor settlements i can't do anything to stop that um i will have to hope that the sieges inside the cities are going to do well like i'll bring my king down this way i think we want to go down here try and deal with this for force first so that this area is secure and then we have to make our way up to try and deal with them essentially okay so they're not going for where i was expecting so right over here you guys are not doing all that well. Mission complete. Okay, so you can keep upgrading that. This building, I'm just going to demolish it entirely. So for right now, I only see one army right here. Yes, yeah, so they've got one guy up here. So you, I will have try and yeah, keep going up this way. As all of you take these guys out. This army here... I don't like how you're taking attrition through that. Yeah, kind of go around this way. That way you'll actually get some replenishment. You... I'll try and go over here. I just want to get rid of this army. And try and have it so that you guys are making your way down here. Because they've dropped off more troops around here. They didn't keep attacking over here. Which is actually surprising. So I think what I'm going to do, actually, because of that is I'm just going to raise a tiny force. Let's go with, uh, you know what, Fearless. Let's go with this guy. You're Fearless. It's perfect for this. Because you are just going to take these little cities back. Because I don't care about losing those. Um, it's really easy for me to reclaim them. I'm not even going to give you uh, an army, honestly. It's just going to be you alone running around reclaiming these areas. Because that's what your job is going to be doing. Because you're going to be doing that. I've got my king and my other armies making their way down here to try and deal with these other forces. Because, yeah, they're kind of dropping some men off around here. It looks like they're actually bringing more forces kind of around this area, it seems like, at the moment. Um, decrees. I can you do the movement range one, actually, which I'm going to do. Because let's do that. That means then I can move again. I can move up again here. Free supply there. Uh, do you have enough movement? You do. So then I can have you go over here, take this back, and then I will probably pull you back, because I just wanted the building back here so we can get that food again. So you guys can do that. This army... Also keep making your way down around here. We're trying to avoid the swamps if possible. It's like you go sit in the city, and then you should be able to... You can barely hit it, it looks like. So yeah, we can just occupy that. Hit the army. They'll run. Are you sure you don't want peace, guys? You've won region. I hope you will not decline my patience. It's still insulting. I'm not paying you for a peace. Um, governance available is do I have another one? 
Uh, oh, now I've up to 10. Holy shit. Okay. Um, so we're not going to be able to put them all in here, but let's have you go there. You spear infantry units. Not the best, but I'll put you here. You know, kind of start spreading out the governance there. So you guys can do that. Um, is there anything I want to do for you guys? God, I love how every single one of you is just a uh, a bastard kid. Love it. I have no, like, proper heirs. <laughs> or my proper heir is here, but he hasn't come of age just yet. Uh, okay. Oh, this man's so dead. I'll try to have you withdraw, but you're probably dead. Yeah, they're just gonna chase you. Well, you're fearless. Let's have you give, go out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> As I was kind of worried about pushing you in over like this. I'll see what you can do. He's probably gonna be shot to death. There's 20 of him and at least a uh, hundred. Oh, they don't have a ton of archers. Okay, they only have they have four units of archers, but they're not. Uh, they're the ones that hide. So. This, this guy's probably dead before he can even get anywhere nearby. But he's fearless, so I'll give him at least... Also, the White Wyverns, I love that army name. I, I'm kind of sad you're going to get your ass kicked here. I'll try and have you in the trees, so you're like less likely to just get shot to death. But uh, you're so dead, man. Like, I'll have you try and... Where did you go, man? Where is he at? There he is. Make your way through the forest. Let's go, man. You're gonna go out in a blaze of glory. Let's see what you can do, at least. We are heavily so I I uh, some of the units. The yeah, no, shit, we're heavily outnumbered. My, I just wanted to fight somebody before the battle ends. I just hope he's not gonna just be shot to death. I want him to actually go out in a blaze of glory here. Now, uh, the javelins are gonna be chucking at us, though. Uh, not exactly what I want. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to catch up with you guys. Well, no, maybe I will. At least try and take out this cab unit, maybe. Yeah, try and try and fight the cab unit at least. Boost yourself. If you, oh, I can't even use it on myself. Can I? No, I can. I just couldn't click you. So fight to the last man. At least take out some guys, please. He's only killed five guys so far. Not the best. I was hoping for a little bit more, man. I can even see you in here. Oh, there's my guys. Yeah, they, they, they broke already. It's worth a shot. Try and have you guys see what you can do there. I did some damage to that cab unit. A little bit, at least. Nothing crazy, but it's like, okay. <laughs> Killed nine units, at least. Yeah, because, like, for right now, this at least does make it so that, like, these two unit armies are going to be distracted over here. They will not be grouping up with everybody else, because we want them to be spread out. Okay, this guy, uh, he's dead. He served well. This is why I chose a fearless general for that. Uh, he got beheaded for it. Because if I can keep them spread out, that works out better for us. Because we just want to make sure they're not all grouped up in the same area. Which looks like that's what they're kind of doing. Yeah, they're dropping off around Drayton. I died. Peace of turns. Tapestry. I like it. I like it. Again, why do you guys not want to give me a piece? You are absolutely getting your asses whooped. Um, I want to keep focusing on this. I think we're going to keep focusing on my military research again now. Let's see. So... That'd be a better cav unit. More melee skill for all cav units. Imagine pool for cav units except for our heroes. Oh yeah, let's go with that. Increase bodyguard size by 100%. Let's go for that. Yeah, every single thing of research right now is taking two turns. So let's go for that. Getting increased bodyguard size will be amazing. So let's go for that. And do you seriously just not want to give me peace, man? Your visit comes at an inconvenient time. How much how much money do I have to just pay you? Let's see, I'll try a uh, small. 
Still insulting at 9,000. It isn't... Yeah, fuck you. I'm not gonna give you peace. Just, just kill this guy. They're probably gonna turn back around and take that territory back again, but that's fine. Well, actually, no. Uh, yeah, you have enough movement to go up here. Make sure they just don't do that. Finish that army off. Some of my generals. Uh, blacksmith. Get the blacksmith upgrade. Uh, more governance available, because now we have it so that we have way more slots. Um, we can only get one of you per turn. Let's go with here. Also, do the governors act as a general's bodyguard in defense? I'm assuming they do, because I know that's a similar thing in Attila. Because that'd be great to make sure I keep putting you guys more over this way. Let's see. So I'm recovering. You're slowly making your way down here, too. So I see the one army over here, so let's try and make my way over this way. Because if we can take out this force, we just need to whitt whittle them down, like, one army at a time. Damage buildings. That's around over here. Because of the riots and stuff, so repair that. I now have to hope that, because the garrison, what's the garrison in this city? It's Okay. If you guys attack that, if it's just the one army, we might be able to do a decent amount of damage at least. That's the hope. Yeah, they do seem to be going to the north more. Okay, building constructed. Got some more food from that. That's level one, so we can upgrade that. This uses up food. I do want to get more of that crops reduction if I can. I'm going to hold off on that for right now. That upgrade over around here. Okay, I'm going to have you get another estate. Get another state there. Okay, so for right now... No. God, I need you guys to spread out more. Okay, hopefully you can finish these guys off. Yeah, this turn you can. So, finish this guy off. As the king, too. So maybe now they'll be more willing to actually give me a ceasefire. Now they just killed their king. And then let's have you... Can we get right back over here? So, you... What do the scribe, though, too? Because getting better books is not a bad thing. But yeah, do that. More governance available. Let's see. So... Again, I'm going to keep trying to put them more over here in case they uh, get to be governor, uh, generals, bodyguards, and defenses. So, go over there. Go with that. And then, now they're going to have to worry about that city being attacked there. I will try and offer him peace one more goddamn time. Because you're not my focus right now, guy. You are not welcome at my door. It's still fucking insulting. Oh my god. Why? Well, hopefully he just doesn't come down this way. But yeah, I'll start trying to bring these armies down over here. So, you all start trying to make your way over here. I see one army here. Let's see. see two armies. Let's try and go up and around. I want to try and utilize those bridges. So let's go up this way. Same with you. Try and walk over here. Careful with the swamps, though, because I'm trying to make sure you keep recovering. Because we can get rid of these two armies. That's a start. Because they had eight armies. I don't know if there's a second wave or if it's just the first wave. But at least right now, like, I know at least this area is kind of vulnerable. I can keep just spawning a random army over here every once in a while when I have a, a governor or a general to just keep retaking that spot. Because I can keep distracting them, but it's not going to really benefit us all that much right now. Fuck it. I'll say ya. Again, with the idea of me not wanting to go over to Ireland, I'm okay building up allies there. Because it'd be nice if you guys actually started doing more, too. Because let's see, where are you guys going? Does seem like more of them are dropping off there. Okay, so there's one that one army there. Now you guys are spreading out around here. Okay, so they really are going over that way. Spots the enemy. The Norman invaders approach. Okay. Oh god. Oh calf stuff has been building up more. Because yeah, we're almost next to this city. At least stand on this bridge here. Because I'm close to these two. This army. Yeah, you're still recovering a little bit. You'll be able to at least get past the... No, do you go into the city. 
It'll cover a little bit more there. Okay. So you guys have got that. This army needs to keep making their way over here. And then if I... I won't be able to check until next turn. We will stay the course. I could actually... Hmm. We can't. I could try and fight them at sea. The men have for this. I don't know if I'm going to want to do that, though. For right now, I think you staying here is fine. That's level 1. So we can upgrade that again as long as we get to hold this area. Yeah, we've got that alliance there. I do think, though... I'll have another lord here. I'm going to try and get an actual army over here. I have a lot of extra food. So, what we'll do here... Let's see... They've got a lot of spearmen for their units. That's why I mean some of you guys might have bonus for infantry. Okay. I do have enough to get a full stack army here. So I think what we'll do... Let's get you this veteran melee cav. Grab that. Let's grab some of these guys. Like four of you. These guys are technically better. So I'll grab four of you. I actually got a ton of these guys. And they are better archers. Let's grab like six of you guys. And then I've got how many more slots? I've got three more slots. I would say they don't have a lot of cab, but probably grabbing some more spears would not be a bad thing. Actually, let's do this. So let's get one more archer. So I'll do that. So I've got this army over here. Now we'll get to see. So if they decide to start attacking this city, I have at least a force around here to try and help out. And you'll try and start recovering around here. And then I can actually have it so, hey, you could take this territory, properly do something. And then essentially I'm just waiting to see like what they do with you guys. And you. Because I could try and go after you via the sea, but I don't know if I should. Because my cav will be useless there. I would actually wa I want to fight them on the open field. I know this army, I still wish that I had... Well, actually I should have double checked that to see how many turns... Until I have more of the mercenaries again. Let's see, so two turns for you, 14 turns for you. Okay, yeah, so I'll be able to have like a full stack army uh, for that guy next turn. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. There's a second invasion to the south. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we need to finish up this one up the north first. You're going to see this here. You're going to actually assault this turn? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, they're just spreading out. Which is the issue here. Come on, what's going on with this? Are they running the fuck away? God damn it, that's not what I want. Oh god. Yeah, there's the Normans. So, I am under siege. I have to hope that you guys are going to be okay. I am going to try. Let's see. Let's go here. So, let's get another army here. I can barely afford one more army. So, I'll have you... This is more than likely going to be a siege if we have anything. So, let's get some of these guys. Because, again, we don't want to use up too much of our elite units. We're going to kind of spread it out a bit more. Let's try and get some of you guys. Some of you. Um, two spears. I'm not going to put any cap in this army. We can get three more units. Let's grab... I'm going to grab two more spears and one more archer. So grab that over here. I barely make food. Got somebody down in the south right now. God, there's so many of these guys. Okay, so right now... This guy's alone. I can actually hit you. You could go over there. Okay, so... Well, actually... Yeah, okay. So I can take out possibly two armies right now. I don't want to go via the sea, but I feel like I'm going to have to so that I can actually maybe deal with these guys because these guys aren't disembarking at all. Um, I will not be able to get you more men for this army right now because I don't have enough food. 
Um. I need to make sure you guys are doing something, though. I prefer that they disembark. I, I would prefer that. But no, let's have you... I think we're going to try and hit this force right here. This would kill their king, too. They have a ridiculous amount of spearmen. If I get rid of their skirmishers and their cav... These armies aren't insane. I have a lot of axemen who should hopefully be decent against spearmen. I guess she starved them out. Now we, we let's go on the offensive. If I lose troops, we can just recruit more somewhere else. Oh god, there's so many of them. So it's not just this one wa wave; it's the second wave too. It's gonna suck. But you know, we'll try and have it so that basically we'll try and focus down the general's bodyguard as soon as we possibly can, because this is their king too. Um, focus him down as e quickly as we can with my archers. And my skirmishers. I have no cav in this army, so we have to have my skirmishers just focus on their skirmishers. All right, let's see. So, fog. Actually, severely reduced visibility. That actually might not be a bad thing, so their skirmishers can't do much. Uh, no. Let's try and get, let's get rid of that if we can. There we go. Because what I'm probably going to be doing is I'm going to have it so we'll take my forces... I'm going to have it so that what I want to do is I'm hoping that I'll be able to, like, yeah, walk into this forest and then try and use this forest to my advantage. That's kind of my hope. So I'm going to have you... I'm going to actually have uh, these guys in their own little group, too. And then these guys will be the main units of infantry that we're going to have. So you guys, you guys, you guys. So let's get everybody over here. I'm just going to start walking up over this way. Because ideally, they're probably going to be, like, around here somewhere. But... I'll move you guys up over here, because I want to use this forest to my advantage. Try and have it so that ideally, like, if I could somehow, because if they're like me over here or here, and I can lure them into fighting me, if I could get, like, some sort of choke point over here or here or something like that, use the city to make some choke points, um, I can make it take advantage of my infantry ideally being better than theirs. I'm just worried about their cav and their skirmishers. So we have to make sure that ideally we aren't flanked by their cav, and I can use my skirmishers to take out their skirmishers. Because we do outnumber them. I have like 240, yeah, 240 guys of skirmishers. They had like three units of theirs, so they should only have like about 90, maybe 100 at most. Okay, I see them now. So now what we're going to do is, I'm going to have it so what we're going to do, is I'll have some of my guys over here to kind of protect our flanks, and then some over here as well. So I can't, they are shooting me right now already with some of their skirmishers. I have to have you guys get a little bit closer. Yeah, there they are. So my archers, you need to focus on their skirmishers. Javelins, you're in the back here. Because essentially what we need to do is we need to focus down those archers of theirs. If they want to advance on in here to fight us in melee, that's fine. I'm just worried about them flanking me with their cav. Because as long as they don't do that and we can now focus them down, we should be okay here. Because yeah, javelins, I want you guys. You'll get closer in a second here. Archers. Come on, how close do you get? A little bit closer. Come on. You should be able to start shooting them with some of these guys now. There we go. Yeah, start focusing down those skirmishers. They don't have a ton of ammo, at least. So, like, that's really beneficial for us. Wait, let's try and have it so that essentially, let's have for the most part right now, some of my javelins be over here and here. In case they, because it looks like they're starting to at least move up over here. So some of my javelins start helping out, make sure we can really deal with their cav. Yes, they're firing on their skirmishers. Take those guys out. And then ideally, you guys fighting us here. I wish we would have had a shield castle uh, ability for these guys, but we sadly don't. Okay, they come on the sides. I don't know how the fuck these things turn on fire. Uh, they don't seem to be flanking here. So the cav is right there. Okay, so if you guys are there, then you guys adjust a little bit. If they're not going to flank us, then... Oh, I don't like how you guys are doing over there. Uh, let's rally my men. Get in over here. Up out against the cav. Yeah, let's fire the spearmen here. These guys are struggling. They seem to be holding at the moment right now. Archers, again. Keep focusing on their skirmishers. Because I don't want you guys to be running away. Like right now, at least they're almost out of ammo, so maybe I won't have to worry as much. But yeah, try and focus these guys down if you can. Javelins essentially made it so we easily took this section. You guys, yeah, focus on these guys here. This side, yeah, now they're moving the, ja the javelins over here. Yeah, so help take these guys out. Number wise, how are we doing? So, 
They outnumber us a little bit. Skirmishers, yeah, now they're taking some good damage. Yeah, just keep firing into those guys. Take them out, and then the general's bodyguard is right here, so we'll try and focus on him with my skirmishers as soon as they're free. This side, yeah, they brought some of them over here. You guys get over there. Javelins, try and help out over here against these guys. Let's see. You two pull back a little bit. I'm gonna try and get you guys to go around the side here to hit this guy. And then you guys don't have any abilities to use on them. Okay, you know, those guys are out of the way. Cav, let's have you guys spread out a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, the archers are almost out of ammo. I might just ignore them. I need to take out this general. So I need to take you out. I'm gonna get you guys to run around this side for javelins. So over here, you guys help out over here. Uh, Axemen, I'm gonna get you to just start running into melee. And this blob is doing a lot. I'm probably gonna have it so that essentially you guys, once you're done with this unit, you guys are just gonna start flanking. I'm a little worried we might not win this fight. Yeah, you guys get over here. Get him over there. Come on, guys. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Yeah, archers just try and take out that general's bodyguard. Oh, uh, they're starting to swarm. Oh, uh, goddammit. Because they're almost done here. You guys are out of ammo. Try and flank a little bit there. My entire infantry blob is broken now, though. Oh, shit. I'm gonna lose this fight. Not the best. I just need to make sure my general doesn't die. Like, just do what damage you guys can. And then I might have to just try and withdraw. Yeah, because all my infantry breaking, like, that's horrendous. It's only a 200-man difference, but so many of my guys... Let's see. Some of you guys are coming back, but not a lot of you. Rally if you can. Try and get some of these guys back into the fight. Not too many of you guys are just giving up. Damn it! Oh, uh, these armies are going to be fun to deal with. Yeah, try, try and do what damage you can. Veteran Spear Infantry. So they are good units. I'm going to try and see if at least for sure. I want to keep my general alive. So if we can, I need to try... I'm going to have you just start trying to withdraw. So you start withdrawing so we at least can... Nope, not that way, guys. I'll have to have you try and like, run this way first. I think we should withdraw. Try and withdraw out of here. My, too many of my guys are just breaking. There's not that big of a difference, but the fact that all my infantry broke like that is horrendous. You've almost killed this unit over here. But you know, I think what we're going to do is I need to get my general out of here at least. Everybody else keep trying to fight. But yeah, general just keep trying to withdraw. Because as long as you survive, then I can make sure that we can try and have it so like I can get you guys to recover. You guys could keep firing, that'd be great. But yeah, for right now, essentially... I, the issue is I had, like, no cav. I did some good damage to their cav, though. But yeah, just try and have it so, like, yeah, if you guys are still uh, coming back, keep trying to fight. Keep trying to single out units. But try, but for the most part, I'm expecting you guys to break. Just bodyguard. Yeah, there you go. Run away to the edge of the map. Yeah, because too many of my guys have given up. Too many of you guys have given up, so I'll pull my men back. This means then I'm going to want to go hit this army with my king, too. I was hoping this army could win against them on their own. But that's not going to be the case. So, you guys, start trying to withdraw now if you can. We'll probably hit army losses here in a second. This is the issue with me using an army that is so inherently just mercenaries. Like, it's not the best for morale. Tier one, They're all tier 1 for the most part, but yeah. Should hit army losses any second now, I think. Come on, keep withdrawing, guys. Because we still took out... We took out about half their army. My king should be able to finish this force off, though. Because we can finish off this force with him. So that will at least still be one army dead. And it, it, if anything, it's the fucking king's army. So we'll take out their king. Because we at least soften them up, so now my king shouldn't have an issue taking these guys out. It's just you guys need to withdraw off the map. Hurry up with that. Because you're almost there. This actually would have been able to do more damage. It's still half their army's dead. For a bunch of tier 1 guys, I'm not. that's actually not bad, honestly. 
Come on, guys. Where the hell are you? What are you guys all do What are you doing? There we go. So technically a draw there. A lot of my guys died there. <sighs> Hopefully we don't lose too many of those guys. I'm hoping, because we took out pretty much almost all their cav. G pretty much almost all their archers too, actually. So those three cav units should be dead. The two archers should be dead. Two spearmen should be dead. And then see how many men did I lose. Oh, <laughs> that's painful. Oh, it's like all the axemen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That, that hurts. Half my fucking army. No, no, back off. Break the siege there. Fuck, that hurts. Yeah, no, you, you have to make your way over here. Because I have enough movement. I can finish this army off with my force. And then I want to make sure that we're going to fight this. I don't want that other army to actually help. Actually, if I can just pull you back further, I just, I don't need your help. Because I can just let the auto-resolve handle this. Finish them off. There we go. Occupy that. We at least took out the king of their force. And now we need to get an army back up and running here. So I'm going to have to... I'm going to pull you back here. You're beat to hell. I'm going to have to get you of, uh, some new troops in here. So you'll have to be doing that. You, at least for right now, I will have you grab more men. So get over here. How do you grab uh, these guys? And then... I have literally no archers in this force whatsoever. <laughs> Let's grab the other javelin, I guess. That's your skirmishers in this army. So try that. And then... If I was going to have anybody go at sea, it should be this force. But I need to wait until you guys actually fully recover. And how many more turns do we have until... That decree is available. Seven turns. I probably won't get it this turn. I probably won't get it this season, I think. I'm not as worried what's going to happen during the end turn. Because uh, they've got all the forces down here. This is a good chunk of my food resources down here. And then I'm sieged here. We'll have to see how you guys do. It's about half a stack of a force. But hey, you've got that plus the garrison. I think if you guys assault during the turn end, I think we might be able to hold Okay, here they come. So this is actually going to be, I think, a pretty good siege here. Let's see how this goes. So, do they have what kind of equipment do they bring with them? That's going to kind of determine how this is going to go. But hey, we've got the at least this force we grabbed. We've got the garrison. So we do. It's pretty close in terms of numbers. So let's fight this. What layout do we got? Let's see how we're going to do here. As I think stuff like this is actually going to be the better way for us to deal with them. I don't think open field, honestly, please come from the south. This area, I think they're coming from the west. I think they're coming from the west. Because I'd love if they were coming from around this area where there's that little bridge. That'd be perfect. They've got the two archers. They don't have a lot of archers in their armies, which is good. So I'm probably going to have it so that we'll put my men up on the walls. Focus down their skirmishers. And then... Are they going to be using... Did they bring any siege equipment? Like siege towers? Or are they just going to have the gates? The, the rams? So let's see. It depends on like what kind of siege equipment they've got here. On how this is going to go, I feel like. Let's see. So their reinforcements are coming from the western side. Their forces are on the eastern side. So they do have some siege towers. Okay. So what we're going to do here... Is all my javelins right around the gates. I'm going to get all my archers. I'm going to have you guys all up on the walls initially. Let's get you guys here. So we'll get you guys to try and be able to open fire into them. And essentially what we're going to want to try and do is I will have anybody with a shield castle formation. You're going to try and hold the uh, gates here essentially. So that's what you guys will be doing. Axemen will be the most likely ones to want to try and use to defend the gate, uh, the uh, the walls. Cav. Barricades don't fucking matter to us really here. They're not going to really help us in this defense. Let's see. Okay, so... I could defend here. Or do I want to defend around the central point, actually? Because if I'm now looking at this stuff here, this is actually not that bad. Actually, I 
Because I'm going to have to defend against both. Because I could have my Cav try and run outside, try and focus on their, uh, their skirmishers. Or we try and specifically try and focus and hold them down here. They'll get to spread out too much if I let them get on the walls. Let's use their gate over here. Now the only gate is around this spot. Yeah. I'll my cab over here. Put you guys over there. And I got you guys back up here. General over here. Basically, we'll get all of my forces over here. So we'll start the battle. Basically, we want to have it so my guys can shoot as much as they can before they get over here. Cav, do try and run over this way, because I want to try and see if you can take out their skirmishers, if they're isolated and alone. And ideally, the enemy reinforcements are not going to be... Because you guys don't have any siege equipment, do you? You shouldn't. You'd have to, like, break down the gates, but I'm assuming, I've, knowing how the AI operates, they're probably going to try and go to this gate over here. It's kind of my guess. But if we can kind of hold over here, essentially I want to do as much damage as we can to their forces as they're trying to make their way up. Although, honestly, I think javelins are fine, but I think I should just move my archers. Like, get my archers back here. Just get you guys off of the walls. I think you guys are fine to just kind of help out over there. Because essentially we want to hold on the walls here. Because, like, I know this is the... Let's see, general. And then we've got the guys that are holding the gates. I'll try and have it so that essentially we just want to get as many men up into the walls as possible. Like, let's see, get you guys right about there. Because we're just going to want to single them out and focus them down while we're up on the walls here. Yeah, so get up on the walls there. I'll get more of you guys to help support here and here. As so if we focus them onto the gates, that'd be perfect. I'm not going to be able to destroy the siege towers, sadly, because of the rain. That would be a bit difficult. But we can at least have, like, yeah, you guys just support the center here. Archers, I'll move you guys up as well. Just a little closer. Yeah, their archers are shooting us. So we've got it so that, like, all of you guys are on one big blob over here. Javelins, at least, are going to be able to try and open fire. They're going to be able to do some good damage with their skirmishes because they can't literally see them. So we'll have to have it so that, uh, these guys are supposed to be with this group here. So you guys there. Cav, where are you guys at? Okay, you can almost see them here. Because if I can have you take out those archers, that'd be perfect. Javelins, I don't know, maybe focus on the guys that are trying to get up on the walls. It's not the tower, it's fucking self, please. Yeah, because that's what the javelins should be trying to do. So come on, guys, focus on the maybe, I don't know, like this guy maybe? Instead? Because that guy's a bit more vulnerable and open. Let's see, I see those axes there. So there's the general. I don't see the archers right now. Again, I just don't have visuals on them right now. Yeah, because here they come up onto the walls. Skirmishers, specifically. Make sure you guys have guard mode on. Basically try and focus on the guys getting up on the siege towers. That's your guys' job. And then ideally, these units supporting around here will make it so they can't just flood on through. So go there. Go there. And if anything, I'm hoping that my cab can at least distract them. You can distract them, and then let's see what are they doing over here. So it does look like... These guys are just sitting there. So they start trying to push on in through the gates. I've got the shield... I got the guys in shield castle, though. So I hope you guys can hold this spot. Let's see. Doing some good damage onto these guys. Yeah, so as long as we can, like, hold these guys at bay. Towers. Not taking any damage. I see one of their archers now. So, let's get you guys. Yeah, because we want to get rid of you guys. Because any units we can single out, the better. So, let's try and go over to the side here. Try and focus on him. Because they're not really focused on this side at all. So, I actually have these three units uh, make their way over here. You're trying to help out this spot. Actually, maybe have you guys help out the gates. Come on, just ignore my cavalry. Let my calf kill your archers. Yeah, because I'll try and make your way over here. 
And they're hidden again. I did see them, though. See, that's one of their bowmen right there. This guy's more vulnerable than the other one, so try and go after them. I think they're out of ammo. Let's see, just kind of keep running around back here. No, keep running back this way. Okay, now hit them. So we don't want to fight the infantry. We just want to fight just the archer, take out the entire archer unit. There we go. Just kill a little bit more. There we go. That unit's fully shattered now. Now we just have to do the same thing to the other one. Okay, hit the other archer there. How we doing? How we holding? We're holding here. I guess we're holding okay. Archers try and actually I see the general in this area. Maybe actually focus. Well, no, focus on the walls first. Yeah, focus on this section first. Focus on this spot first. If these guys die, then we can focus all of our attention onto the this spot. Okay, this archer here. You guys are almost dead. I'll also be able to try and focus on their other archer too in the other armies. Let's see, this guy's down to ten. He's not fully dead yet. Run them down. What's coming over here? I think that's one of the cav units. Went into the trees, so I can't see it right now. Okay, that unit's fully dead. Okay, run into the trees now ourselves. Number wise, I've lost 400. They lost 500. So number wise, it's doing okay. Okay, so archers, you've almost finished them off over here. Try and shoot this spot next. Siege towers. Okay, okay, not bad. We're holding at the gates now. As soon as this section's dead, which I think should actually that volley right there was good. Now try and focus on the general. So open fire with all my archers into this blob here. Try and hit the general's bodyguard specifically. Because if you can take him out, uh, you have been taking shots. I need to pull you back. Because if you guys can just open fire into this blob here, onto the general, that'd be perfect. You having a hard time shooting there? Just shoot somebody, I guess. Kind of back up a bit. Maybe get a better angle. Okay, Cav. Now we want to try and see if we can single out the other archers in the other army. They are at least taking some good damage. They're going to just be taking damage while being shot at by my towers here. So that's something. We are holding this gateway. They're starting to take the gate, though, is the issue. Come on, archers. I need you to start properly opening fire into this blob. Yeah, there are cabbies coming in. in. Yeah, try, try and focus on the general. That's why I want you to try and focus on. I could actually... Ooh. We have enough movement for that. Archers, stop being idiots. Yeah, I'll just have to have you guys just pick your own targets. Honestly. Uh, all of you guys. You guys try and get down off of the siege towers. Try and use the siege towers. Come on. I want you to use the siege towers to get down off the walls so we can try and flank them. You're being absolute morons and not doing that. Never mind. Okay, archers just, yeah, they keep trying to fire in this spot. Because for right now, we just have to hold this area. If we can just hold this spot, they don't bring any more men up onto the area for the siege towers. I just have to hold the gates. If we can hold the gates, we can win this fight. It's just whether or not we're going to be able to do that. Because my archers are getting really poor shots. I just launch you guys to arc in shots into this little blob. Okay, my archers are doing absolutely nothing. So I'm going to move them over here instead. So what we can do is, if we can't focus much as much damage onto this army, we will focus it onto this army. Because they have just been following the walls, so I will try and have it so that we can unload and do as much damage as we can into this force. My cab is still waiting, trying to see if I can find a time to try and see if we can single out their archers in this force. Because any units we single out and kill off completely, the better for this fight. Hopefully you guys get closer to my archers. I might have to move my archers a little bit more. Yeah, at the moment. They're not in a good spot. So let's try and get a little closer. They're just walking past this spot, so we want to get to, like, right here, roughly. Run over there, because I was hoping they kind of keep following more. They're kind of going more around this way. Although, if I was here... Yeah, but the, uh, but the uh, trees... Trees are getting in the way there. So I would say, right now... I might have enough time to get over here, and then we can kind of shoot a couple of these guys as they're running away from us. Because then we're going to have a much better angle on them, too. 
because you guys will then be able to shoot them and hit their uh, direct back line there. At least on some of these units. Like, maybe that heroic unit might, maybe? Because, like, right now, you guys are holding nicely. Like, we're holding here. Slowly but surely, we're doing some damage to them. I'm just hoping we're going to hold this. Or, if anything, make them take a lot of damage. We've lost about 600 guys. Oh, man, they are actually faster than I want them to be. Now we're going to want to run back over here. Yeah. Damn it. Actually, I just noticed something. So I was going to have them initially kind of maybe get up on the walls here. But honestly, at the moment, yeah, they are saying more guys over here. Uh, if I can put my archers here, there's a really good spot to shoot right here. They are going for the siege towers, though. But basically, I'll have my archers get set up around here. Trying to have you guys open fire into this spot, because these guys, they have their backs to us, and it's a perfect uh, spot to shoot into. So I just have to hope that, yeah, you guys keep holding up on the walls around here. They are going to be using the siege towers, which is not good for us. Wish we could have been able to do some damage to them, but again, the rain's an issue. Because, like, right now, number-wise, yeah, slowly casualties are filling up on either side. But, you know, essentially, like, right now, you guys... You should be able to just shoot point-blank range into these guys pretty easily, and hopefully do some pretty good damage here. Because we just need to get you to a spot so I can actually use... Oh, they are... I just saw some arrow shots hitting my guys. Yep, there they are. Okay, Cav, get back over here. I need to get rid of these bowmen. I need to use... I need every uh, aim, uh, single piece of ammo I have. Yeah, I see them over here. So we can start hitting the archers. If anything at all, I'm making sure their armies have no archers over here. I don't like how things are doing now. Man, like, you guys are getting some good shots. But I don't like that. Let's see, Cav, you just need to get over here. Come on, guys. Make sure to keep rallying my men. Make sure they're not breaking. Hurry up, Cav. Hurry up. My guys are not doing that well now. Oh, they're starting to shatter. Come on, guys. We've got to fight to the bitter end. Archers, let's get over here. Actually, no, you guys should help out over on this side where they're getting into the siege towers. Cav, come on, guys. Uh, you lost sight of them, that's why. Yeah, come on, Cav, get over here. We need to at least take out these archers. Even if we lose the fight, I need to take out these archers. The more time, more of these guys I can take out, the better. So get on over there. Yeah, there we go. Start running these guys down. Hopefully, I can take out these three units at least. If I can take those out, this battle's entirely worth it. Yeah, because now they're starting to push on in through my troops. Yeah, my guys are breaking. So it's really whether or not we can take out more of these archers. I think I'll at least take out this one. Because with them shooting me, I'm not going to be able to do anything else. But come on, get them a little bit lower. Just a little bit lower. Oh, come on, less than five. Damn it. Like, let's see, we were able to kill... About a thousand guys. The men have been routed. They are leaving the field. Not nearly as many men as I would have hoped. My guys are just breaking sooner than I was hoping they would. Fuck. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, not what I was hoping for. I was hoping we would have been able to do more damage. I think it's not bad, given the fact that we spawned that army pretty quickly to just try and see if we can hold them at bay. Let's see. So they lost. That first army did take a lot of damage. They lost at least three units of axes, their cav, their archers. The other army is the one that didn't take all that much damage. Oh, they kept one of their archers, you fuckers. And they kept these guys. Yeah, they lost at least their cav. Almost lost one of their archers. And then are they taking it or are they sacking it? They didn't take it. Nope. Uh, no, it did. Okay. No, they didn't. They did not say they did not take it. Okay. <sighs> yeah, this army's still raiding us. I can hit them. I can hit this army with my force. I will take that auto resolve. Take that. Get the replenishment. And then I do not have enough to move to finish them off, but you do. So get over here. Just so we can guarantee this army dies. I'm going to have to rebuild this army anyway, so if we lose anything, 
We did not. Good. So there's at least two armies we've been able to properly kill off. Uh, you can't go on encampment stance, but we're going to pull back here. I will also be pulling back for right now. You're chilling there. Again, I'd like to send this army over to deal with you guys. If I was going to send anybody at sea, I'd say you. So if you can get some more recovery, I can send you over that way. Okay, so we've got that. Our thing's doing down here. So they just dropped off in a completely different area. Try and have you see if I can get you up here. So if I can get you into that city, that'll be help because I need to make sure that they're not going to be able to siege that. So you guys need to do that, and then again, we just need to keep spamming out military research. We had a decent amount, but I need more, and it's every uh, it's every basically every other turn we're gonna get a little bit more research. Um, I should make sure though. Let me do this. So let me look at treaties. I want to see everybody I'm, I have va under my vassalage. Where are they? There we are. So you. I'm going to demand that you join. Um, no, that's not what I'm asking. I want you to join my war. Oh, you know, you're already at war with them. Okay. It wasn't saying you were joining them initially. Okay. So you guys should be at war with them as well. So that will actually help a little bit down here. That'll help a little bit down around there, hopefully. Let's see this area. Yeah, they sacked it. I'll repair everything. So repair everything there. Um, Essentially, we need to try and have this look like, yeah, this army is going to be trying to build up a force. Up around here. Honestly, fuck it. Let's see, you go here. Prepare to dock. And you try and hit him. They ran, but I have enough movement. So we're taking this army out. Wow! Are you fucking kidding me? Now we're, we're gonna we're gonna fight that ourselves. That's, oh, they don't have the penalties. Awesome. I don't even know what those penalties do specifically, but I'll be done for today. We'll we'll start this off with the next video fighting this battle, because I don't think it should be that bad. I, I don't think so. We outnumber them a hell of a lot, so ideally that should be in our favor. But I'll be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love what you guys have to say about this campaign. Anything else in general, but this is Rampin. I'll see you guys next time.